Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Introducing Royal Caribbean's newest ship, Icon of the Seas, the ultimate family vacation. The ultimate six slides, eight neighborhoods, zero compromise vacation. The ultimate never done that, can't wait to do it vacation. The ultimate chillin' by a different pool every day of the week vacation. This is the icon of vacations. Icon of the seas. Arriving in 2024. Book today. Come seek the Royal Caribbean. Ships Registry Bahamas. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. This is my weekly meal plan episode today. Um, Each Wednesday, I share with you what's on my family's meal plan for the upcoming week. Hopefully, this will give you some motivation to get your meal plan together. Um, Maybe you'll get some ideas of similar recipes that you make that you might want to put on your meal plan for the week. Or um, if you want to follow any of these recipes that I'm making, you can find this full meal plan as a blog post on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. And I have links to any recipes that I mentioned in the episode today um, in that blog post. It comes out every week the same day as the meal plan. So you can always find whatever um, you're listening to and all the previous weeks are there also. Meal planning has been so important to me over the course of time for saving money and just saving time and not having to worry about what I'm cooking. I really like to rotate certain meals and, um, you know, kind of get my meal plans done ahead of time by, you know, planning out that I'm going to do like I do hamburgers every other Friday. If I make a meal um, this week, I'll think ahead, how soon do I want to make this again? Four weeks, five weeks, whatever. I put it out on the meal plan for the future. So my meal plan is always kind of building itself because I'm rotating meals in the future. So by the time I get to each week, I kind of have most of the meal plan filled already. And then I just kind of fill in the gaps. So anyway, this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, February 10th. I'm going to be making skillet, lemony, chicken, and artichokes, which is from goodhousekeeping.com. I've only made this recipe one other time, but my family really liked it. So I'm going to make that again. It's um, it's a skillet dish, as the name says, um, and it's made with bone-in chicken thighs, and it has artichokes in it and um, chicken broth and white wine and some other seasonings some lemon and um it just kind of it just kind of almost has like that fancy type feel almost like a restaurant type dish and uh i we really really liked it so we're gonna have that again and i'm gonna make it with um cheesy instant pot rice and vegetables which is from the salty marshmallow.com this is a super easy side dish where you basically just take um, mixed vegetables and rice and you put it in the instant pot and when it's done cooking you oh well obviously and broth with that too not just not just rice and uh, and vegetables rice vegetables chicken broth and water into the instant pot and when it's done cooking you add some um, shredded cheese and mix it together and that's basically it so we're gonna do that with the skillet lemony chicken and artichokes for Sunday February 11th I am not going to be cooking because um, Super Bowl is that day and um, I normally do cook. I normally spend half of the day, half of Super Bowl day um, in the kitchen on my feet cooking snack after snack after snack. But this year I decided I'm not gonna do that. I wanna just like relax and enjoy the day. So we're gonna be ordering some like appetizer type foods from one of our local um, restaurants and I'm not gonna cook that day. And we're also going to Um, probably go out for drinks at lunchtime um, because one of my daughters just turned 21. So that was kind of like a little thing. We figured Super Bowl Sunday, we weren't really going to be doing much. We're just going to be kind of chilling out as a family. I thought maybe we could go out and get like uh, a drink and an appetizer or something like that. 
So, and then ordering food for dinner. So anyway, all that to say, I don't know, have a meal for um, Sunday, February 11th. For Monday, I'm going to be doing sausage and peppers for a dozen. Um, so the funny thing is, is every time I've shared this recipe, I always imagined that it was an, in, um, a slow cooker recipe because that's how I make it. I never even look at the instructions. I just look at the ingredients and I throw them in the slow cooker, but this recipe actually calls for baking this in the oven. However, you can definitely take the same ingredients that it calls for, which is basically just sausage, peppers, and onions and sauce, put them in the crock pot in the morning and just let it simmer all day. And it comes out so good. It's like, just tastes like this flavors all come together. And it's so super easy to just throw that in the pot in the morning in the crock pot and then have it ready for you at night. Sometimes what I'll do is make like baked ziti or some other type of pasta dish to go with the sausage and peppers. But um, this time I'm actually going to serve it as the recipe intends, which is as sausage sandwiches. So I'm just going to get rolls and serve it that way. So we'll have sausage and pepper sandwiches for dinner that night on Monday. Tuesday, I always do some type of Mexican theme meal. This week, I'm going to be doing homemade nachos with ground beef. This is from theseasonedmom.com. Very simple. Just lay out some um, tortilla chips with ground beef and cheese and you bake it you bake it or broil it or I forget yeah I think you bake it and then I just put out you know like sour cream avocado um, salsa whatever uh, all those types of toppings and then everyone can just kind of add whatever they like to their nachos what I found um, I was doing um, previously is using too many nachos so like the ratio of like meat to nachos wasn't as good and then there would be all these nachos left over and I love nachos so then I'd be snacking on nachos constantly to eat up what was left over which I didn't really want to be doing um so what I wound up doing last time was just kind of doing half of the amount of nachos and just kind of concentrating more meat like the meat to nacho ratio <laughs> was higher um and uh it came out really good like that so I'm gonna try and kind of do that again going forward um, for Wednesday, I'm going to be making creamy Tuscan salmon shrimp pasta, which is from Simply Delicious Food. I love this recipe. I actually have a video of this recipe, how I make it on my YouTube channel. I've been making recipe videos um, occasionally. I've got a few up there. Honestly, with work and the podcast, it's been much more challenging than I expected to get videos up there because it's not just recording it, it's recording it and then editing it and then doing a voiceover and it takes a bit of time. So I'm going to try to keep doing that um, as I'm able to just kind of keep adding a video here or there. But I do have a video of the creamy Tuscan salmon shrimp pasta recipe. I make it slightly different than the recipe calls for, just like as far as um, I kind of break up the salmon instead of cooking it as a whole piece. And I kind of mix everything all together with the pasta when I'm done. But anyway, this is a really um, good meal. Um, if you like seafood, salmon and shrimp all together with pasta and like a creamy sauce. So that's for Wednesday. Thursday, we're going to be doing breakfast for dinner again. We usually do either breakfast for dinner or um, soup on Thursday nights. So this week, I'm going to be doing turkey bacon in the oven, um, scrambled eggs, and some uh, potatoes, just chopped up peppers, potatoes, and onions uh, cooked up in the air fryer. You can also cook them up in the oven. The turkey bacon in the oven is from brended.com, and that's it's really just tells you how to cook it in the oven. It's not like a recipe. Um, it just tells you, you know, to, to cook the, to lay out the bacon on a sheet pan and then just bake it for 10 minutes and then flip for 10 minutes and then it's done. It comes out great that way and it's so much easier to clean up. Um, so anyway, so that's how I make that. You could do the same thing with regular bacon. We just, I don't know. We've just always kind of used turkey bacon for that. So I just, my kids like it cause that's what they're used to, but we do eat regular bacon too. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be doing turkey bacon, scrambled eggs, and then, um, what I'm going to do is put out some flour tortillas with the breakfast um, because I did that last time just because we happened to have some extras and it tasted really good like with that turkey bacon and the potatoes and the egg to make like a breakfast burrito with it. So I'm going to start doing that for now on when I make that specific um, breakfast for dinner meal um, to just kind of offer people the option to make a breakfast tortilla um, or breakfast burrito rather out of uh, – out of those ingredients. 
And then Friday is our last um, meal on the meal plan. I'm doing ribeye steak. I do this every four weeks on a Friday. Um, so real simple. I just buy a ribeye steak. I marinate it with some olive oil, red wine vinegar, and some Montreal steak seasoning. And then I've been cooking it in the air fryer because um, I almost set the house on fire twice cooking it under the broiler. Um, it can be a little bit dangerous if you have like the broiler where you put the steak up and the flame is on the top because the steak um, fat can like pop into the flame. And that actually happened to me two separate occasions. So I don't broil it anymore, although I thought it came out really good broiled, but I just am too afraid to do that now. So air fryer comes out good in the summer. I do it on the grill. Um, but anyway, so I'll throw the steak in the air fryer. And then um, for a side, we're going to be doing cauliflower au gratin, which is from allrecipes.com. This is a um, pretty simple side dish. You take cauliflower and cook it uh, for like 10 minutes. Well, you chop it up, cook it for like 10 minutes. I actually wind up just cooking it in the microwave. I think it does say to boil it. But what I do is I just put it in a microwave safe bowl and add a little bit of water and cover it with um, plastic wrap. So it kind of like steams in there. And then I just cook it for like 10 minutes in the microwave and then just drain the water out. But basically you just cook it like that and then you add sour cream, cheddar cheese, and um, then mix it all together and top it with panko breadcrumbs and you bake it in the oven. So that goes really well with the steak. So that's it for this week's meal plan. Like I said, you can find this entire meal plan along with any links to the recipes that I mentioned today on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. Don't forget to rate and review the show if you feel up to it. I really could use some ratings and reviews. It really helps grow the podcast. And I thank you so much for listening. And I will see you back here next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash lolasfrugallife. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see your listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast. So that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have an awesome day.